Now that we've looked at pivot tables, just the simple ones, let's look at pivot tables with compound fields. Now, when we do this, we are now going to be adding more than one item into a particular field. So let's go and create our pivot table using the same range, new worksheet. I'm going to click OK. And this time I'm going to put make in rows and that's fine. And I want the month as well, but I want my month in columns and then give me the sum of price. That's fine. But now what I also want is to put another uh, field in here. I actually want to go and put the age grouping so that I can group these makes by age. So let's go and have a look. Do you see what happens? I'm going to take it away, put that here. Do you see what happens? It is now compounded because there are two items in there. So yes, while I've got the make, it's also going to give me the ages, it's going to group it according to those ages within that particular field. Let's go to another one. With columns, I've got them by month. And let's go and pop in type over there. Okay, I'm not doing it there. <laughs> but let's take it up to our columns. So now we can see, have a look at that. Do you see how that whole chart has now changed? That whole table is now different. I've got my different makes. I've got them grouped according to age. I've got the different types as well and the months. So this is how we use compound fields in our pivot table.